Again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio Gallery in the backyard experimenting on a 59 degree day as the sun descends in the afternoon. Good morning! And uh, it, may be, it may be the new year, it may not. So I hope you have a great new year if, uh, if we're close. And pardon me for chattering on. I have a plan. It includes using up paint I just used in a ring pour. Actually, mini ring pour piece. And I want to add some more colors some more obnoxious colors and use them on my first ever 10 by 20 pre-prime black canvas that I got the other day with my 50% off coupon at Michael's and I want to put some white in there again and I want some black in there because I didn't put any in the last one and I have some pre-mixed where is it some mica powder my, um, gold mica powder original stationery yeah I did it outside. I put some in the bottom first and I added GAC 800 and Floetrol to it. It's like 12 bucks for this huge bottle and um, I like how it worked. It made some nice cells. I probably could use Decoart pouring medium without a problem. Also, I need something that's a lot more contrasting than what I've got in there and I don't believe I used any of the green. My bottles of paint are beginning to get cold. They were good for a while and now they're, uh, now they're not as good. They're colder for sure. So we'll see as this day of experimentation goes on. My desperation is that I've been in the house for days and days and it's been raining and raining and raining and that was not the gold I intended on using. I wanted to use the other gold. So let's um, let's put some of it next. No, let's use black in between. So we've got regular gold and we've got new somewhat thinner gold. And I did promise myself when I made the last recording that I would attempt to use less paint in each layer because that seemed to be it seemed like I had a lot of paint and I wasn't using that much but I want to find out if less works better so we'll find that out together and I keep having tops in my hand boy it's weird coming back to this after not doing it for a while I'm just um, I'm just nervous all over again strangely enough and I want some Prussian blue and I am using white in between every ring, and I'm probably not going to need as much paint as I have. But if things keep going okay, I will try and make another recording so that the next patch of weather doesn't keep me from working outside. Okay, that seems like I have a marble or something in my tip. And I'm going to do a little more of that. I haven't used any of my red. Which reminds me, I just got a folk art red while I was at Walmart the other day that I really liked a lot. The look of, um, I just mixed up a bottle of that, and that is right here looking very orange because of all the Floetrol in it. And if I put some of that in last, and it comes out first, I guess we'll have a better chance of seeing what it looks like when it dries. So I want to put the top back on that gold because I'm so not done using it. I didn't use very much to make that amount of gold. It goes a long, long way. And uh, I'll try and show you that again. Now a lot of times, a lot of times, it's good to have some paint on the canvas to flow whatever you're going to do. And I'd really like to um, put a ring, an odd ring maybe, right there and let it let it go and see what happens because I seldom do that and I'm kind of thinking that we're going to be able to save some ne negative space in the background and because I see what's happening there I'm just going to do it again Add some more paint around it to let it flow into it. It's funny, you can see the white between the layers now, but a lot of times the white disappears. Now maybe using less colors, less color in each layer in between has helped me hang on to some of that white, which is pretty dramatic on this, uh, this black background. Being that it's cold today, I'm not sure the paint will set up at all, but maybe, just maybe, I'll uh, 
go ahead and use the torch not just to release cells and bubbles but to help set up the paint a little bit so I have a chance to pour another ring and not lose everything in the first one. I'm liking that last, that red with the orange and the neon folk art now come plaid neon purple, which by the way, Gail Fisher, thank you very much for sending me paint from Dick Blick. It's awesome. It's neon. I haven't used it yet, but it does remind me very much of the same quality of the it's fluorescent purple and it's awesome. It it matches up the neon folk art very very well. So, I'm impressed. Yes, I'm taking a chance and we're going to try some we're going to try some white. There are my two golds mixing. And I'm going to throw some more of that neon purple in there because I like it and I don't see any more of it. I'm not sure how any of this is going to turn out, but that's okay. <clears throat> I figure worst case scenario I've got scoops and I can always scoop some paint out of my ring pour cup and make that work. want some more. I'm going to, oh, I hate wasting black and white, but it's better than wasting a color because you need something to help your paint flow. Now having tipped that first ring is kind of working in that I can, I'm not losing too awful much of it and I stopped short of the edge, which was a really good idea that I have thought of in the past but wasn't really thinking of right now. Um, I can also take my Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatulas, put my glasses on my face, and draw a little paint in between. See if I can merge those up without going over this side of the canvas. And I think I can do that by traveling down this way. Who knows what it's going to look like, but I don't give up easily. And I've got some cool elements, so I'm kind of hopeful that we're going to get something neat. I'm just going to squeeze a puddle right in the middle of that line that I'm adding, thinking that the possibility is good that I can drag some stuff out. I'm also looking at that rather large, beautiful area of neon purple and thinking, wouldn't it be nice if I had some other colors to put in there? Even though I'm not putting white in between. I'm going to mix another little batch, hopefully. <coughs> Crash. Yeah, I'm trying to work too quick. I just knocked my torch over, which is not in the place it usually is. So I'm going to do this. I wasn't really planning on stopping yet. So I think even though I like these cute little dollops of ring pours that um, I'm still not done, but I can take my scoop right into my ring pour cup and add some more color from where I see I want to take it. And I am loving the cold, to tell you the truth, because it keeps the paint from drying, and that means I have a longer working time. And I wish I would quit putting stuff in my way. Space is limited. I'm sure I'm going to run out of time before I can finish this, because I'm actually taking time for a change. To think about a few aspects and try some new stuff. I really don't want to lose this in here, but it looks like it's going to go no matter what I do. I 
just once. I had to try it. And I'm just going to keep coming back. Maybe I'm going to try a color. Because if I get stuck with some of it, that'll be okay. Let's do some more over here. Oh, I see I have gold, gold mica powder on my black canvas, and I don't know how that's going to work. I like that Bahama blue. I believe that's an Anita's. I think if I want to stop that paint, I'm going to have to use an edge catcher. Right here. But I don't want to lose that paint either. I'm going to squeeze it back onto the canvas. And I'm liking all this shape. I really didn't expect to have to take a lot longer than usual, but um, it makes sense that sooner or later I would just take advantage of you guys' patience. And play. That's cool. I definitely like that color. I don't know how it'll dry on black. I also don't know if I can maybe find my straw or my tubing, neither one of which looks like they're readily available, but that might lead me to, uh, to try some other stuff instead. That's not the other stuff I want to try. So, I don't know why I moved my tubing <laughs> or my straw. We had some strong wind out here. Things do move away. i just grab my fork. I'm going to put that near the edge right now. I'm actually composing something. It's a highly unusual activity in pouring. I like to think it's not for me, but this is um, just so far outside my normal realm of activity that I don't know what to say. I'm trying to trying to paint instead of talk. I'm probably doing okay ta time talking too. I want to see. I think we get cells with this turquoise. And I'd like to see that happen. Or if it doesn't, I'm going to take this, um, this gold and see if I can just use it right off the spatula. And I think I mentioned, but I'm not sure <laughs> that this gold is mica powder, makeup grade, just with Floetrol. Actually, GAC 800 went in first. I've always wanted to try this, and all my other mica colors are kind of like, I'm feeling a little taunted now that I, <laughs> that I might want to do it some more. It depends on how it dries, really and truly. any other color in there. Too late. <laughs> I think this stuff does sell as it did in the last painting. And because of the GAC and the flow troll, it also seems to mix quite nicely. So, we're going to run out of time, but not yet. I'd like to wipe off my spatulas, but it's cold, so the paint is staying fresh and I can continue to use it. I want something over here, and I'm not sure what it's going to be, but I think it's going to require me making a new puddle. I will definitely have some paint left. Let's 
Let's see what happens when I use the color shift red next to that orange and get my colors out of the way again. I like that lighter orange. And I want to play. <laughs> I am being kind of strange. with ribbons. Interesting. Not sure how I feel about that yet, but I think I'm going Add some purple. And in order for me to be happy with my neon fluorescent purple, I need to use white. So I have two minutes left to tell you guys everything I need to tell you and to finish this painting. And it's not impossible, I could do that. <laughs> it's happened before. I just have to think faster. And if I have to talk less, I guess that's the way it goes. All right, I've got an edge catcher handy, but it's got paint bottles on it. Go figure. And I think, quite honestly, that in the end of this, I may come back in and use a bunch of that gold but I will try and make another video if I need to, unless I'm happy with it the way it's going to be in a second. And I'm just giving myself permission to add things where I feel like they should go. And that's alright with me. And I've got all this beautiful paint, so there's nothing to keep me from just dribbling right onto what I've got and making more marks. So this is time for me to decide what's going to happen with this edge catcher. And I had such pretty paint in the corner and I'm not sure I really wanted that to go, but I am going to let it flow all back down into the design. Hopefully not taking away anything too awesome with it. I like that purple over there, but obviously I'm not going to be able to keep it unless I have something next to it to let it flow over. Alright, so check out the Volume 1, 2, and 3 Facebook albums at the bottom of the description underneath the video, along with my Facebook, excuse me, along with my Pinterest board link and my Instagram link, and the description for my paint pouring recipe is in the video description in the middle, and there's clothing that I'm attempting to design uh, for Teespring right under the video, and what else? Shop my Amazon link. You can find my new book out at the on the Amazon link. It's the first thing on there. And I also have the OXO and Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatulas, which I highly recommend if you haven't seen them before. I didn't use them in this video, but they're there and they're well worth checking out. And I like that gold, but I want a little more of it. And I'm going to be gone in a second. So this is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery saying thank you for joining me. Thank you for contributing.